So a little bit of a uh, different trait tonight. What you're looking at is the full set of the Matchbox Caterpillar Dirt Machine series. And Matchbox did this back in the late 90s, uh, 1998, 1999 to be exact. And they were a two-vehicle set that came with an action figure and also some accessories like pipes or some construction signings, things of that nature. And uh, really for, the, for how old they are, um, they were... I, I won't say very functional, but they did look nice, especially in uh, this this scale, which is pretty close to 187th scale. They're not modeled exactly to 187th scale, but they are pretty close. Now, I actually have two complete sets of these. One, obviously, out of the box that you're looking at, and uh, one set that is in the box. I just have this one, this pipe layer set, just in the foreground, kind of to take up some space and show you what they looked like when they were in the box. So, starting off over here at the left, two uh, tandem drum, smooth drum roller, a um, cat bulldozer. None of these models, by the way, have actual equipment, um, specific model numbers. Like, for example, this doesn't have, like, D11R, but um, they are modeled after their real machine counterparts, but just no specific name on it. And this one in particular had um, tracks that roll. So that was pretty cool. Over here is a tracked skitter. This one, the tracks are fixed in place and has just working um, idlers or rollers underneath it to make it go. The blade is fixed in place and uh, the grappling, grappling thing goes up and down, but the grapple itself does not open or close. So there's that one. Pretty nice. Over here is the uh, Challenger, and this is based off the Challenger 45. Plastic cab, tracks that do roll. And this set in particular came with a grain trailer with also some pretty stiff tracks. And, and like I said, I apologize that these are so dusty, but I've had these since I was a kid. And, uh, it was a rainy day here in uh, southeastern Ohio, southwestern Ohio. Geez, don't even know where I live, apparently. Here's a material handler, tracked material handler. Again, the tracks on this one are fixed in place with working rollers underneath. Cab rotates 365 degrees. This is most likely based off of a 345 material handler. Nice, crisp cat pyramid logo on the back. Over here is the uh, front shovel. Again, one of those that are modeled with wheels underneath. This model in particular actually came out a year earlier in uh, 1997 as a Hot Wheels model. And Mattel just rebranded this the following year as a Caterpillar model with cat graphics and cat colors. Bucket on this just goes up and down, but uh, doesn't dump. And the bottom part of the bucket doesn't open like a real one would have. That kind of would have been a nice um, touch over here, another former Hot Wheels model that Matchbox has rebranded. This is based off the 777D. And it does have a button in the middle that you push, and it will open the dump bed. A full-on Matchbox casting for this Caterpillar series. This is an ART, or articulated dump truck. Dump bed does open, and there is a full range of articulation. There you go. There's that line. This truck is based off the uh, D25. Here is a Matchbox Peterbilt dump truck on highway dump truck. Pretty nice. This is a much older Matchbox model. I believe the first ones of these appeared in the 70s, long before I was even thought of. Another Hot Wheels model that Matchbox just rebranded for the cat name, a scraper. The bowl doesn't go up or down. Nor, do, nor is there any ejector mechanism or anything that's functional on it. But for it being a toy and not a die-cast model, as all of these are, these are all, you know, they were marketed and, and aimed for the younger demographic when they came out, but I know a lot of adult collectors have some of these. Here's a cat uh, grater. Blade doesn't move. Has the V-shaped blade, unfortunately. And an engine compartment. I know I'm beginning to sound like a broken record, but this was also... This model also started life as a Hot Wheels um, toy. I keep saying model. They're not models. They are toys. 
here's a military jungle green livery of the uh, greater. And likewise, here's the uh, other part of that set, a uh, soil compactor with a non-functioning blade. Although if you really want to bend the plastic, you can move the blade up and down a little bit. Some nice pad footing on this model. And next to it here is the yellow one, yellow soil compactor. Again, I'm sure they, they took inspiration off the real life 825 soil compactor. A lot of similar characteristics. Here is the uh, backhoe that they came out with, and these are very difficult. I'll just I'll put this one on the ground just because the uh, the backhoe arm of it likes to come off. There we go. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed. There's the backhoe. This came out um, in the first release of the set, and actually, as you can see in the background, there's the uh, the second release of the set, the pipe layers with the black bucket and black backhoe. And there they are, side by side. Again, based off of the real life 416, maybe 420, but I'm thinking, thinking closer to the 416 just due to the size. Here is a, once again, another former Hot Wheels model that Mattel rebranded as Matchbox for this set. And this is based off the 988. Functioning, um, full loader mechanism, bucket dumps, all that great stuff. Well, very nice little model. And actually on here, like the uh, like the dump truck, if you were to push down on the exhaust, it would lift the bucket up. Here is a uh, integrated tool carrier. This one, of course, has the bucket. The bucket does not tilt or dump. And finally, the last part of the set is the integrated um, integrated tool carrier loader with the forks. So as mentioned at the very beginning of this video, now seven minutes ago, these are the Matchbox Dirt Machine series. You can still find these on eBay. They're actually going for quite a considerable amount of, amount of money. When they first came out, I remember um, going to the store with my mom. I was seven years old and uh, just had started a paper route. and I was really excited to save up my money and get these. These were really the first toys that I bought myself. And um, there you see them right here. These are the same ones. So very nice. And I know a few of you have these and I, I know maybe people like diecast mania would really appreciate this video so there you go guys thanks for tuning in we'll see you next time